and welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, I'm going to review a new product by Emacs that is designed for beginners who, you know, like people who fly camera drones, DJI drones, Autel drones, Hubsud drones, and you've never flown FPV. Well, Emacs has made an FPV kit perfectly for you that is so simple to fly. You're going to see this is going to be the kit for you. So first off, let's uh, get rid of the hats. So do you remember back in the day I did a review of the Emacs Easy Pilot? A lot of people bought this kit. It's a ready to fly kit. Comes with the goggles, the controller, the drone, the batteries, the battery charger. Except people grew out of it very fast and they said, I want something better. So Emacs made the Tiny Hawk 2 freestyle kit. Goggles, controller, the drone, the battery charger, everything inside. But a lot of people couldn't fly it because it was too advanced for them. Yeah, so they had to make some other things. So they, they have a lot of different versions of the Tiny Hawk 2. So what they've made now, and I think this thing is brilliant. You're going to see it's different than all the other kits I've shown you in the past and probably different than the kits I'm going to show you in the future. It is 100% designed for beginners. So it comes in this little case and I've already unboxed it. So I can't show you much more about that. But let me show you what's so cool about it. So first off, you get the drone and you're probably looking at it going, well, that's nothing exciting. It's a plastic drone. Well, it is the Tiny Hawk 3 and it's the Tiny Hawk 3 FPV kit ready to fly. So in this little thing here, you get the goggles, the controller, the battery, the battery charger, and a bunch of other accessories. The difference with this baby is, for me, a guy who's a pro, is that it's made really well. And it runs on a 1S battery, and a lot of people in the FPV hobby, if you make a tiny whoop, we all love 1S battery tiny whoops because you fly them indoors and outdoors. This is made to grow with you. It's got a 200 milliwatt VTX that shoots out the video signal at the back. So that's great for a lot of people. Wait, do you see the goggles on the controller? You're gonna be blown away. The camera up front, I like it because it is adjustable. So beginners will always leave it pointing forward like this. And when you become a pro, you will do this because then your drone flies like that. Emacs says they made this super durable so that it grows with individuals. And one thing I do like about it is everything's easy to access. I hooked this up to Betaflight myself. Beginners will never hook it up to Betaflight, but I did. I wanted to see how everything works and everything looks pretty darn good and it's easily accessible. So that's a nice touch with that. The 1S battery slides in the bottom and it has the typical Emacs connector on the back. So you probably are already have it, a lot of Emacs batteries. If not, a lot of companies make these with these connectors and they're dirt cheap and you just hook them on. Okay, so with all my talking, let me show you what makes this different from everything else I've ever reviewed on the market. So this is the controller. They made the controller so that it is compatible with other drones besides this. So when you buy the kit, you can use this controller with future drones that you buy from Emacs or some other companies. I think, I think, I could not confirm it, I think this connects to like a D8 receiver. So like an FR Sky D8, which you can get in a lot of drones. You have three-way switches on the top here. I'll hide my face so it focuses up here. I put little stickies on because I can never remember where everything is. So you can see what mine say up there. So you can see on one side over here, I have the arm switch to start and stop the motors. Over here, you have your angle mode, horizon mode, and acro mode as you become an expert. Over here, you have the beeper that you could turn on and off in case you lose the drone. You turn the beeper on so you can find it easily. And over here, you have your flip over. If your drone lands upside down, you can flip it back upright without having to go pick it up yourself. The controller does come with an 18650 battery that's rechargeable and uh, it lasts for quite some time. So you're looking at the controller going, well, that is pretty cool, but why is it so amazing, Steve? Hang on, let me get to it. So then you have the goggles, the FPV goggles, and yes, you can put a micro SD card in the goggles to record your video when flying. A lot of beginner kits on the market usually do not have that. This one has it, which is pretty good. You get two antennas, but oh no, oh no. Let me show you something really cool. See this strap? I wear glasses, right? Watch this. All you people who wear glasses are gonna love this. Okay, I try to get it over and watch, watch what happens. It doesn't fit, right? Oh my God, I can't use this because it won't fit over my glasses. Well, guess what? Watch this. Plink! <laughs> yes! The display comes off the front. So you can fly your drone, hand this to somebody else, and they can just see what your camera on the drone is seeing, as well as recording. So if you have a recording and you're playing back, you can just take this and hand it to people and say, watch my flight. Look at when I went under the tables and chairs and all the other cool stuff. Check this out. Not only that, 
but this connects to this so that you can fly it like a camera drone, like your DJI drones and Autel drones and Hubson's drones. That's why I say for everyone who's used to camera drones and wants to get into the FPV hobby, this is pretty sweet. So this connects right here. So now you fly the drone just like a camera drone. Yes, you stare at this, all your information is on there as your little guy flies through the sky. Watch this. So let me give you a demo of this actually working so you can see me fly it right here. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is take your switches on your controller, push them away from you. The top ones are three position, one, two, three, and the bottom ones are two position switches, one, two. So push them all away from you so they're not there. You can angle this any way you wish. It's all adjustable. Next, power on your remote. Right here, just hold down the button. It will come to life. I should get a little green uh, circle because all my switches are away and my throttle is down and everything's ready to go. Next, take your drone and just plug in the battery. It makes a really cool sound. There you go. And then I'll put my little Emacs box over here. I'll stick the drone there so it's facing me. So you get my mug in the shot. There we are. And well, we got nothing because I haven't powered this on. And then just power on your little unit here. Watch this. Should say Emacs and then you should see me. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> there we are. And you can fly like that. It's pretty sweet. And you can record the video just by hitting the R. There's an R button on the side that says record. Hit that once. It records to the micro SD card. Then you can go into DVR. There's a menu system and play it back fast forward or go through all the videos you've recorded in the past, play them back and show people. It's really cool. Now, I don't think I can fly this in reverse like this. Let me try this. I don't care if I crash it, but uh, so it's sitting right here. First thing I want to make sure to fly it is I'm in angle mode. Okay, so for angle mode, if I look at my little sticker I stuck on here, it's push all the way this way. So there we go. And on my screen, it should say A N G or something like that. Where is it? Oh, there it is up there in the top left. It says angle. Can you see that right here? It says angle mode right there. So we're in angle mode. That's that's what I want to fly indoors also. So it doesn't hurt me and hit me in the head. Next, I have to find the arm switch, which is this one over here. Start spinning, and then you have your throttle control. <laughs> this is gonna be scary. Do not try this unless you're, ah, it's still going. All right, it hit the walls over there, but at least you saw the video as it was flying. And then at the end of its flight, it shows you right there on the screen of the time, the results and everything to do with your flight. See that? All right, so let me hold it closer this time and I'll just send it up. I'll let it crash. I'm not worried about this thing crashing because it's designed for that. So let me go over here to the arm. There we go, you can see me. It's gonna go up in the air. So I'll try not to get hit in the head here. All right, we're gonna try this again. So arm, it's spinning. And now, uh, where's my throttle thing down here? Oh, this is so dangerous. Here we go, ready, up. There she goes, I'm still flying. Oh, I'm stuck to the ceiling. I gotta hit the arm switch. And she fell to the ground. There we are. So as I'm saying this, I'm telling you, this thing is really durable, made for beginners. You can have a lot of fun with this. All right, so what I'm gonna show you next is uh, me flying this around the house because um, that's my plan. I'm gonna fly it around the house to see how cool it is. Then I'm gonna take it outside and give it a flight. Then I'll show you everything you get in this case. And you do get a lot of good stuff. And um, yeah, and that'll be the video. It's pretty darn sweet. Here we go. All right, this is the indoor flight and it's gonna be a little bit different. I have the little display unit over here. I'm gonna power it on so you can see my flight. I'm gonna fly with my Fat Shark goggles on and I'm gonna record the entire video in this little guy and you'll see what the quality is like. So here we go. All right, so power this guy on. We should see Emacs. There we go. It's gonna power on. You'll just see snow because I haven't plugged the battery in here. I'm about to plug it in. As long as you have your controller on ready to go, then uh, you can plug this in last. And uh, here we go. Watch this. Should see an image popping up on there. Yeah, so everywhere I move it. So that's how you'll see the flight as well as the video I'm gonna show you that's recorded on here. So let me just start the record. All you have to do is hit the R button. It's on my side. I'm gonna hit it once. A little red dot's gonna appear up here. You probably won't see it clicked and uh, it's recording. There we go. This video is now recording. So now I just have to put this drone down someplace and we're going to fly it around my house. So how about I put it right here so you can see it take off. Put the fat sharks on and I just have to make sure that we are, it says angle mode. I can see it in the top right. So what was the arm switch on here again? No, oh, it's over on the left. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So let's go up. This should be easy to fly indoors. Whoa, missed that chair. Go over this way. 
So you can see you can fly slow and through your house very nicely. I do have it set for 100 milliwatts, so it will get some interference. You see the little flickers going on the screen, but that's normal. That's just because the interference in my house, lots of Wi-Fi going, everything else. But uh, yeah, you can always keep the image, go over my head. There we are, come back this way. Yeah, I'll even fly it over to the camera. Let's go around this way. Take it nice and slow. Come on over here. And let's go around this way, around me. And then over here in front of the camera. Whoa, there we are. Looking out. Hey, I can look outside. Well, a little bit of sun out there. We're going to fly out there pretty soon. So, and if you want to go faster, just go faster. One thing I forgot to show you, I'm just going to show you when I land, is to set your camera angle. So I set mine for indoor flying. So that means here, let me just put it down on the ground. Plunk, right there. So that means, where are you? You're right over here. I dropped it. See right here, I have the camera pretty much facing forward. When you want to fly faster, you just tilt it upwards because then the drone, in order for you to see straight, will tilt itself and want to go faster. So if you want to go slower, just make it more forward. You might get the props in the frame and everything, but that's okay. So when you fly outdoors, you might want to put it like this a little bit to go through wind. And if you want to go like super fast race, if you know what you're doing, then you can do that and you're going to go super fast. All right, camera should be looking at me. So the indoor flight is a success. Let's go take it outdoors. It is kind of windy, but we'll see how it goes. All right, it's pretty darn cold out side right now so I have the monitor and I have the drone and the controller I'm gonna fly with my fat sharks so I'm gonna turn this on put it over beside a GoPro with this drone and go fly it and just to be insane I'm gonna take the camera up front here and see it I'm gonna tilt it way back like that so the drone has to fly like this so that's gonna give me a lot of speed I'm gonna fly in acro mode I want to see how it does here we go all right due to the brightness over there the GoPro adjusts itself to only record on items that are bright so in other words since that's bright and this is less bright you can't see this display all right so here we go so I'm recording the video that you're gonna see it's recorded over in the little unit the Emacs unit so if it's a good recording that's what you'll see I'll put it someplace around here here we go and I'm gonna stand this way facing the camera and I'll put the display over here so I'll stand over in the corner and uh, here we go <laughs> stay tuned for lots of screaming so where's the arm switch on here again all right there we go here we go arm here we go so let's boot it yep ah, it flies quite well let's bring it back see I got a lot of speed here it's cold out whoa so can I do flippies yep you can do flips. You can see it's very much designed for beginners because even the flips, they are, there's a, you see that little shifting that it does at the end? It's trying to right itself so that if you're a beginner, so you don't crash. Even though I'm in acro mode, well, it says air mode, that's what it's doing. So uh, pretty sweet there. So once again, if you're a beginner and you can fly this, well, you can fly most drones on the market that are FPV. All right, I can't fly it too slow because I went and stuck the camera looking up, so it only wants to move forward. Oh, somebody with their dog over there. So I'll try to slow it down a little bit. Miss all that. There we go, there we go. Where was that arm switch again? Because I gotta turn it off, it's a boy. <laughs> Here we go. So let's, uh, let's bring it back. And let me give you my final thoughts on this baby. Let's put it over here. Smash into the back of my head or my leg. This is the arm switch here. Got it for a change. Hey, look, you can see the back of me. All right, next thing to show you is what you get if you buy this kit, so check this out. The Tiny Hawk 3 comes in this interesting colored case, but everything fits in very nicely. The drone is entirely constructed of flexible plastic. This ensures that if you smash into walls, you don't mark them, and if you crash it outside, it's so light it's not going to get damaged. I do like that you can move the camera up and down, so as you get better and want to fly faster, just adjust it as you wish. The drone is powered by a one cell. 450 milliamp hour lipo battery and the charger is included you may wish to buy yourself extra batteries a spare set of props are included as well as additional screws and battery straps total weight of the drone with battery is only 43 grams the included radio is well designed and emacs says they did include upgraded joysticks compared to other radios they sell 
The included FPV goggles are designed to work with every analog FPV drone on the market. Very nice design that you can pull the display off. They do have all the buttons you will need for such a display, such as, you know, you can change your bands, your channels, you can stick a micro SD card in, you can charge them up, no batteries required, and you can even pull video out. Other accessories included would be a USB-C cable plus all the hardware necessary to attach the monitor to your controller. So basically you just push this unit in, tighten it in place with the included screw, next insert the included nut into the mount, attach the tripod head and secure it in place with the bolt. Finally thread the tripod head into the base of the display monitor and you're all set. And now you have the perfect setup to fly FPV for the very first time. So my final thoughts on the Tiny Hawk 3 ready to fly kit for beginners would be, yeah, you know, Emacs hit it out of the park. This is perfect for beginners. Everything about it screams beginners. So you can have a lot of fun if you have no skills. Just fly in angle mode. And I do really, really like that the display comes off and you can record stuff and then play it back, show your family even after your first flight or whatever. It's pretty darn sweet. And if the goggles fit over your glasses, then you're fine. Or if you don't wear glasses, then obviously wear the FPV goggles and have fun. Or, you know, later if you want to keep this and uh, buy yourself some extra goggles, you can buy go FPV goggles that are different in size that fit over your glasses, which will cost you just over 100 bucks, I would think. Anyways, the batteries are dirt cheap for this thing. So, you know, honestly, you can buy lots of batteries they lots of companies sell them just make sure you get the same connector so all in all you know i don't have much more to say other than i'm freezing out here so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and the links for where you can find this little baby are below right down here check out the links and uh, yeah i'm uh, pretty much frozen i can't move anymore because it's like one degree celsius that's what it is in fahrenheit all right guys take care catch you in the next video bye